Transformer percent impedance, what is it? Every transformer nameplate is going to have the impedance stamped on it, but it's not in ohms, it's in percent. And exactly what is a percent impedance? Well, what it is, it's actually a voltage of all things. When you look at the nameplate of a transformer and it says 5.75%, it's really not an impedance. It's a voltage. Let me explain how this works. The transformer manufacturers will take a transformer and they short out the secondary windings. Now, it's a non-destructive test. When they short it out, it's not energized. That would be pretty impressive if it was energized. They're not going to do that. They short out the secondary windings. They determine what is the full load current rating of the transformer on the secondary. And they monitor the current, which right now is zero because the transformer is not energized. Then they begin to energize the transformer from the primary. But they energize it very slowly, very carefully, with a very small voltage. They begin with maybe 1% of rated primary voltage. Not a whole lot happens. They increase the primary voltage to perhaps 2%, 3%. The windings magnetize. Now we have a current circulating in the shorted out secondary. Now we're going to have to be careful because there is a short circuit. They increase the voltage from 3% to perhaps 4%. The secondary current's increasing as well as the primary. They go to 5%. Eventually, they're going to reach a voltage on the primary. Not a big voltage, but they'll reach a voltage on the primary where the current circulating in the shorted out secondary is equal to the full load current rating of the transformer. When they reach that level, they stop increasing the voltage. And they look at the voltage and determine what percent primary voltage did it take to produce rated full load current in the shorted out secondary. That's the percent impedance. And what catches people off guard is how can we say that a percent voltage is a percent impedance? Isn't there supposed to be a current in there? Isn't it current times impedance equal to voltage? Wouldn't Ohm be upset about this? We're, we're kind of messing up his laws. Years ago, it was stamped on transformer nameplates as percent IZ. It, it was that way. I'm, I'm talking like 40 years or so ago, and there are still some old utility transformers that will have percent IZ on the nameplate. But along the way, we realized, well, well, I, which is the symbol for current, the current, I, it's always full load current. It's always 1.0, 100%. So what's the point in that? We're taking something times one. Let's just drop the current out of this. And they shortened it up and started calling it percent Z, percent impedance.